You're beautiful. You truly are. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> it made me cry again. Do you want to come in? <laughs> Hi, guys. This is my little one. She's waving hi from the sidelines. <laughs> I'm saying hello, hey, kiddo. <laughs> so she's quite funny. She's like, so maybe if I like all of your videos, everyone will follow me. <laughs> Please do. So anywhere there's like comments in my comments, What's your, what's your, hmm? <laughs> Anywhere there's the doggy profile of my dog, that's her. <laughs> she just loves all of you guys. How you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? Hey, John, welcome back. So I'm glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. I just give everyone a few minutes to jump in. It's been quite the shift today. Quite the shift. How's everyone feeling from the live before? She's adorable, yes. <laughs> Give me healing. Miss Jules. <laughs> hello, hello. Hey, Shelly. Uh, what else we got? Hello, butterfly. It's been a weird day. Yeah, so, you know, I did the two hours with you guys, and then I had to jump off really quick because I had to meet my girlfriend. She was doing some codes on me, like upgrades and downloads and everything in between. And... Some really cool stuff is showing up. Um, I actually used it on a client this morning. So we did more codes and yeah, I ended up bawling my eyes out. <laughs> so it's freaking amazing. Um, uh, one thing I do need to say that I said my guide's name wrong and she's like, go get your book and read it properly. So my apologies, that is not her name. <laughs> I will bring that name in and literally like type it out. So it's right there. Um, so yeah. So I have a few people um, from the last um, live um, who signed up for this entity and implant removal. So I'm gonna go through theirs first and then I'm gonna give a couple away for free. If you guys wanna get in, um, I'll probably be on for about an hour. The link is in my link tree. Um, it says TikTok live. Um, so if you wanna do that, people have been asking about the wood products as well. Um, all of those things are in the Pure Radiant Soul Creations shop. Um, and if you just click on the tabs, it'll show you all the different ones. I'm going to try and separate them all out so it's easier. <laughs> There's my daughter's profile there with <laughs> the dog. Um, so if anybody's interested in checking those out, or if you want to come on for today and do that with me, I would be grateful. Um, but yeah, so we'll do some healing and stuff after as well. But I'm just going to go through um, the people we had here um, so that they... Um, receive what they put in. So I'm just going to grid, grid up the space. <laughs> okay, people are saying hi. Oh, where'd she go? Okay. <laughs> she wants to be famous, so you guys are going to help her be famous. <laughs> there, um, yeah, she's already started. She's like, so people are already like high pain. <laughs> all right so we'll just go through the list that i have here of the few people and we'll just get up the space and bring some clearing into you yes she's adorable she's like the mini version of me my children both look very much like me she's like a twin <laughs> there we go now i feel the heat hey larry welcome back hey rachel and michael welcome all right I'm gonna do a different kind of grid today they're showing me. And this is one that I do in my home clearing course. So I'm gonna do it in this group. So anyone can come in and we'll just keep it a safe space. There we go. So I'm gonna start with Maria Del Cruz and we're just gonna go through. Mm. There's a lot of stuff showing up for you around the neck as well, almost like you're tied. Um, if you want to, you can, Jules. This is just the entities and implants stuff for those who paid um, for, from the last live. 
I had to come back on because I had stuff going on. But I am going to do group healing as well. And we'll do some... Um, let's just remove all of this. There's some stuff around childhood too. Being able to play, being creative. Michael's laying down. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I feel like you're super anchored into the ground, but it's not serving you either. So we're just going to release all of those binds. <sighs> there you go. And then I'm just going to bring in this aura field for you. It's, I feel like someone teased you with bugs growing up, like snakes or frogs, lizards, crickets. <laughs> welcome, welcome. There, we'll just pull that out. Ooh, your body just lit up, so it feels more vibrationally aligned now. <clears throat> Ooh, that feels good. There you go. And let's just pull you into 5D if you're not already there. I see a few things showing up in your belly. I'm just going to do a metal extraction for you as well. It feels like there's lots of... Um, mm, I see like an anvil in your gut. There we go. Now we'll bring it to 5D. Okay, so I'm going to go into Deborah. I don't want to say your last name. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You've made my daughter's day. <laughs> Truly, she is like happier than a pig and poo right now. <laughs> I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. I love you guys so much. Deborah Hogg, H O G E. So we'll just come in. I see this with you. There's something around dolls. There's this childlike innocence of playing, being, being able to play, being able to um, really hone in and have that, where I feel like some of that was taken away from you in your childhood. I'm also seeing like frequency bands coming through the head, but it's not, they're not actually good. It creates this disruption. Interesting, it pulls into your throat, but it pulls in and out this way. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. And then you have it at the back too. I'm actually just gonna pull up your etheric field as well and we'll just... It's like you have rips in them instead of being sliced and diced. Yours is like rips. And this will be on YouTube after. <laughs> Thank Ashton. I appreciate you so much. There you go. And let's just move that and shift that into 5D. It's interesting. They're asking me to pull certain energies out of your body from like, um, not here, but those things. I don't want to say it because I don't want to get censored. But. There's something, I feel like there's fertility stuff showing up for you as well in the hips as I'm doing this. It's almost like as I go to clear it, they're like, no. Nope. I feel like this is going to help blood sugar for you as well.
There's something with orchards and bees with you. It's showing up in your Akash. I can see I'm in this different place in the Akashic and they're showing me two lifetimes of this understanding like the sweetness in life and how you are already that. There you go. That was really beautiful. So I'm just healing into that. Those two things that are showing up around being sweet and helping your body just maintain that balance inward and outward at the same time. This is where the blood sugar comes in. Just becoming more in harmonious alignment for you. There you go. There you go. Um, and I'm going to go into Mimi. I think she said she couldn't be on, so I'll definitely post this on YouTube so she can watch it. For you, there's stuff coming right down the back on both sides. It almost feels like spears. Spears, sorry. You definitely have galactic implants as well. Oh, I feel like you loop in the same program since childhood. I can see that. It's like this need to be perfect, this need to sit in this cycle to be wanted, to be loved. Yeah, I will do. I, I just want to get through the people who paid because this is a, a live event. Um, but yeah, I will do a couple of free and we'll, we'll do some other stuff. Hi, Fred. <laughs> I'm Serafina. You can call me Sherry too for right now, if you need to. But yeah, I'm gonna start switching it over to Serafina. There, and I'm just gonna shift a little bit of stuff that's going on in your body system. We are so glad you're here. Hello, Allison. If you guys are new, follow John, Allison, Derek. Anybody else who's ready to... Hi, beautiful. Sorry, I missed your life. There we go. And I'm just going to bring this into your etheric field as well. There's a really strong mom energy that surrounds all aspects of your... There you go. What time do your lives start? Um, this one just started at 8. Um... If I have a chance tomorrow, I'll be on Facebook. If not Facebook, then here. It just depends. I'm doing a, a live in the, in the morning in a, in a group that I have. I'm doing free um, soul transformation sessions live in Pathways to Soul Alignment. It's just a different modality that I teach. There you go. And we'll bring this in for Odette. Odette. Got a lot of stuff that's plugged up right in this side of the left side of the brain. I appreciate you too, beautiful lady. Yeah, if you guys aren't following Allison Gee, you can literally just click on her name and it'll take you over there. Follow her and follow John, follow Derek. Follow each other. Follow each other. We can build each other's groups and lives so that everyone can have an opportunity. So follow anyone that you're guided to. Oh, and there's Michelle. Follow Michelle. <laughs> Michelle is just getting started too, so she's on soul treats. So 
So for you, Odette, what I'm getting is there's this, the two sides of your body are not balanced together. It's almost like they don't connect. I almost feel like you feel like you're, um, it's either right or left. And it's, it's like those two never merge. And I kind of know what that feels like. I was in that until I merged with Serafina. So I feel like you go through a little bit of the same thing. So let's just shift that, that programming. I almost feel like you weren't allowed to be yourself, especially as a child. I see that a lot, that you're not allowed to be yourself. And there's this wounding that's coming in the back that says, if I'm not this, then I can't have that. going to go into the gut and just release some stuff in there too. Oh. Yeah. Excuse me. I was waiting for that. Thank you. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so relaxing to watch. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> well, do I just need to burp more and I get No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the whole gift thing too. I just figured out the stars on Facebook, what they do. <laughs> I did a live the other day and the guy's like, no, you need those stars. And I'm like, well, I've got thousands of them. I don't know what to do with any of them. He's like, oh, you trade them in. And I'm like, cool. So same with here. You guys give gifts and I'm just like, these are beautiful. I'm like, can I share them? <laughs> you started learning Reiki. Congratulations. Yeah, step right in. Everybody has the healing ability. It's just about opening it up, using what you have, and then asking for more. All right, let's bring in this. I'm just going to clean up your aura field. And then let's just bring you into 5D. Oh, your grandmother came in. So your grandmother came in, uh, Odette, and she said, now that you're clean, <laughs> now that you're clean and clear, it's time for you to start stepping forward. <laughs> She's fun. <laughs> She's like, now stick to the rules. <laughs> your vision's been blurry all day. Yeah, we'll definitely go in and do some eye healing today too. There you go. Uh, so we're going to go into Anna Dacomune, D-A-L-C-O-M-U-N-E. And then we'll do John. Aww. Thank you, John. You're so amazing. So Anna, what I'm picking up for you is like you're disconnected from your lower half. Some of the stuff you're holding inside of you is in the back of your, it comes in around your scapula and then in your lower body. And this keeps it off balance. This is actually coming in from a grandfather who's passed over. So you've brought this in generationally and it's like you can't shake it. You can't. It's like you can't separate yourself from the past. And I feel like you chain yourself up from past to present.
And then I feel it comes right into your ankles and feet. I feel like you just try to keep yourself so grounded that sometimes it doesn't work. I almost feel like that disrupts your brain stuff too, trying to connect so quickly. There you go. That just shifted a lot of stuff in your eye as well, Anna. So you might feel a little bit irritated in the eye. That'll shift out. Good evening, Tara. Welcome. And let's just pull it into 5D. All right, we'll do John, and then we'll do a free one. There's a few things coming in the front. Uh, I feel like from childhood, but I also feel like coming into that comfort zone, there's a little bit of stuff that's like, mm, not comfortable, and I got to pull back. I do see a grandfather and I see a father figure that come in really strongly. Their words kind of, I just keep hearing like hit home. Almost like it pulls your breath away a little bit as well. I feel like there's something around being a man. I have your one guy standing here going, hmm. Just disconnecting and unhooking some of the things that have come in. Almost feels like you had a little piece of saran sitting there and they just removed that. I almost feel like light language is going to come forward for you a little bit stronger, like a little bit even more. It's almost like there's this almost like protection in place. I'm doing entity and implant removals. This was a paid um, a paid event, and I'm gonna do some free ones. Yep, been feeling that. Yeah. That's all, everything that's in place is gone. So it's all open now. And it, it, this feels like you can breathe better now as well. It feels much more open that that stuff's not there. Mm. They just want me to do an activation as well. Mm, this very interesting scent just came in. Definitely a grandfather figure. Just gonna pull from behind your left ear. Feel it coming from the lower back up and out. <laughs> it feels cool. I feel it right here. It's coming out here. Uh, 
that's the two I wanted. So you've got stuff in the god's um, mouth at the back of your neck. So I feel like part of part of this journey for you has been like, how fast can I excel and, and get up there and, and be present and be open? And I feel like this is part of why the held back until now. And I'm just going to shift in that god's mouth. I feel like this is going to help you just go. I feel like it is from past life, so I don't feel like it's anything from here. Um, let's make sure you disconnect from lives is what I what I hear oh thank you so much I hope you guys are all having an amazing Valentine's Day remember you come first love yourself first always 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 that was a big message that came in this morning and then let's just bring in that upgrade to five i feel like it's more to eight and they just want me to bring in some polarity healing in there feel it actually same interconnection there there you go that's awesome so if you if you want to um if you want this um and you don't have the funds just um if you, if you want to experience this, just put it um, that you'd like to, and I'll just pick randomly with my guides. <laughs> the guys are all shifting like super hard. <laughs> oh my God. It's got to go back for a second. Uh, I'm gonna say your name. Your picture looks like it's tan, like a tanned face. M. Oh, I don't wanna. I just wanna see if it'll come up better. Oops, nope. M O O S S A K, one nine seven eight. I I hope that's. It's just so blurred out there. So I'm just gonna bring this in for you. Uh, so what's coming in for you, uh, Miss Des or um, this beautiful lady? I don't know your actual first name. I don't. Some people use their. I just go by what my guide show me. Oh, Kimmy is her name. Thank you, John. There's there's stuff showing up for me around. Um, Be careful just how I word it because it's it's almost like sensitive. I feel like there's a lot of things that have transpired in your family line that maybe you're not aware of. There's a lot of abuse. There's a lot of like um, imprisonment. I feel like you hold a little bit of that imprisonment inside of yourself. There's a lot of emotion attached to that too. There's like a self-validation feel like you hold on to this as your own program I hear they're not good enough but there's a lot of stuff attached by that as well 
comes in around the hips as well, at the back of the hips, and then it pulls through the front of the uterus almost as though it needs to escape through the, the vagina area. It's definitely opening up some energy. You felt it. Does it feel better? So that, thank you. That energy center that comes up through the back, um, it's not the chakras, it's, it's a little bit different. That's all open now. And I can feel the energy actually coming up and down. I'm just gonna come into the underside of the, the scapula, the shoulder. There's something around snakes with you too, or being tied up. This coil like a cobra. It's released some nervousness, amazing. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we can ground. You can ground too. I command myself to ground. Anything that I don't need or that's not mine, please take back to Mother Earth. Ashton, I'm actually going to put, I'll put you in a bubble of energy just so that you don't pick up so much because I feel like you feel so much of this. Part of it is because you're helping as well. The other thing I see for you as well, Kim, is that there's these, um, a lot of stuff in the soles of your feet. And I feel like you carry a lot of stuff that's imprinting when you walk. Oh, I feel that in your brain. That feels cool. <laughs> there you go. And I'm just going to come into your field and just clean that up. There you go, and then just pull this into 5D. There you go. I'm just gonna ground the rest of you guys out for a second. You can ground anytime. Anytime you feel overwhelmed or it's too much energy, even though I'm working on somebody else, just ground that. <sighs> Ashton, do you feel better? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna encase you if you're There you go. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thank you so much. You felt less pressure. Amazing. Let yourself shift through that and see how you feel. So we're going to go into Desiree and then Michelle and then Ivy. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to close it so that I can do some group stuff too. Oh, hey, Derek. Yeah, follow Derek if you're not following him. He said he got his this morning. So he says, my chest above heart is vibrating uh, like a muscle spasm. Not sure why. It's just a lot of energy, right? It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ground you and clear you as much as I can just to bring back that grounding. To remember we hold on to a lot of things that we feel are normal right and when it's released it allows more energy to come in almost like the chi changes in our body system when we go through it it is healing a lot of healing so i'm just turning off this so i'm coming in for desiree m Um, for you, there's a lot of stuff around speaking.
<laughs> I felt that shift right away. Yeah. Um, Desiree M. Desiree Montgomery. Oh, I gotcha. There's a lot of stuff from your childhood that's showing up around, like, you have to behave a certain way. This, um, I feel like there's a little bit of OCD in this as well. Uh, Tara says, first of all, I want to say thanks. You helped, helped ground me and ease the pain in my neck. Oh, so amazing. You have OCD, but it's clearing. Ah, amazing. Yeah, I feel like this will shift that a little bit more for you. I almost feel like you're not allowed to make a mess. This is what's coming in in your field massively everywhere, especially all the way around here. Not allowed to make a mess. If I make a mess, I have to clean up. It has to be perfect. And I feel like there's a consequence that shows up around having it be personal or um, be perfect. There's like a judgment. I'm just going to bring this in through the knees and into the feet. You feel so like, so strong and set in your ways. It creates a lot of tension down there. Okay, just let the healing shift in there and let it shift that program out. It's like you have rips in your etheric field, which then comes into the aura field. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. I truly love you. Derek fixed his car after healing. <laughs> That's awesome. That's amazing. There, that's better. I'm just, they're just telling me to breathe. Just breathe into your gut. So happy. There we go. And let's just bring that into 5D. There you go. All right, Miss Michelle. Let's bring this in. You're new here. Well, welcome. We're so grateful to have you. Yeah, I'm going to do group healing. I have two more to do, and then I'm going to do group healing. And then we can do whatever after that, whatever my guides are guiding me to do. Michelle, for you, there's a lot of stuff in the lower gut showing up. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. You also got some stuff in the back. Um, trap muscle on the left side. 
And then you've got this galactic implant as well. This is the I can't be seen. Let's pull that shit out. <laughs> I got your guides like standing right over me just laughing. They're like, yeah, pull that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> um so i can give you the planetary stuff <laughs> so if you go into sacred geometry um and you draw a circle and a square the easiest way to understand is the planet that we stand on cannot literally go into four dimensional it can't it's the sacred geometry does not allow it it does not fit together in a proper um cortex so what happens is it has to go to the next dimensional level to allow the energy to fit into place. So our planet actually is going to 5D, 6D, 7D, you know, whatever D it wants to go to really. Gaia is shifting and changing all the time. But as for us, we don't actually have to go into the fourth dimension. We can actually just go into the fifth. It just depends on where you need to shift your energy. I actually just recommend everyone just bypass four because it's very much like three. It's very dense. And then as you start to move out, go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you're going to start to raise that consciousness and go higher and higher. Um, what I love to tell people is that you physically can go into any dimensional level you want to. As you leave 1, 2, 3, 4, you'll never want to go back there, right? That's your sabotage. That's your low energy. That's government. That's different things. So as you raise your consciousness and decide to go even higher, understanding that God consciousness is about unconditional love. So God doesn't give you anything but unconditional love. And if you are part of that God consciousness, which is unconditional love, you will sit in the 12 dimension. When it comes from pure, absolute, no judgment, it's 12D. So you can check your conscious, you can check your vibration with your pendulum to see how far you are. And when you sit in pure love for, and this is zero judgment, when you can love Obama, when you can love Hillary Clinton, when you can love uh, Hitler, when you can love anything in any time dimensional space who we feel has done wrong to X, Y, Z, even though they're just playing a role, you are elevating into the 12th consciousness. So Michelle, there's just one thing coming in through your mouth and down your spine that keeps you anchored into your stories. So I'm going to pull that out. It might feel a little bit weird. There's why you might cough a little bit. So you can decide just to cough to clear that a little bit more. Oh, I can feel it coming in through here. You go night night okay go night night sweet dreams oh yay thank you so much guys there you go i'm just going to come into the some of this not seen stuff comes from a male as well in your family Yeah, this was just a special, usually this is like 350 bucks on my personal. It's like three days. So this was just something my guides asked me to do. Temp has changed drastically around me. Amazing. And let's just bring in healing to the outside. This male figure is gone. Just going to release the tension in your shoulders and just allow you to sit up straighter. It's almost like you sit like this. So we're going to bring it so that you're nice and open. So just allow the energy to shift and let your body move with it. <laughs> Do 
You're like, but I don't want to sit up. <laughs> there you go. And let's just do the 5D. There you go. And Miss Ivy Bell is last. And then we'll go in and do another free one. And then we'll do some group healing. Ivy, you hold a lot of stuff at the very base of your skull. Um, you've adapted into a brand new one, actually. And this is kind of like an exploding one as well, where it's like, I can do it myself, even though I don't want to. Nobody else is going to do it, so I have to do it. Let's just bring it in through the gut. See a little thing around like skipping ropes and stuff that are showing up for you. You're kind of bound by like these rules of adulthood. <laughs> They're saying get rid of that. So we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to come back and do it again. It just won't be today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it again. If, if you guys truly want me to come back and do it again, I will. How about I come back on the weekend? And then you guys can come back on the weekend if you want to, to do this again. Um, absolutely. I'll open it up. We can do donations and I'll do healing for everybody else too. There's also a father figure coming in and I feel like you've adapted into some of his rules and conditions growing up because I feel like you pick the same partners who represent people in your family. There, and that just pulled right out of your hips. And I can feel it releasing from your knees. There we go. How you guys feeling? There you go. All right, so let's ground you guys. And then if, again, if you want to be able to be picked for one, I'll do one more and then I'm gonna do some group healing. You feel sleepy? Go rest. Yeah, make sure you ground. If I missed you, just let me know. I paid before. Uh, what's your name, girly? Just so I know if I did yours already. This will go on um, on YouTube after. So if anybody missed, then you'll get yours. You're welcome. I'm just looking for your comment. sailing for husband you did mine this morning okay what's um okay i'll do hubby's right now then so you guys i saw your comments that said yes please so let me just do this one first so in your husband's what's coming up is he has to be a man he has to take all the responsibility there's something around money there as well but i see trucks it's like I only have a short amount of time to do things. I need to get, I need to cram as much as I can into that in a short amount of time. I feel like there's a little bit of um, a control factor with himself. I feel like he gets upset with himself or beats himself up.
There's also a bullet wound in there. I feel like he carries a scar from a past life. I can actually just feel it being removed. There, that just released a whole bunch of stuff off his chest. I'll do I'll do your friend and I'll do your friend after I do one in the collective, Renee. I did yours instead just because it came through in your name. Do you ever do light language all the time? I use all of my clears. I don't just use one of them. I, literally, the person that I'm working on, I can see every single thing in their body system. I can see it, feel it, sense it, know it. I know where it comes from. Yeah, I just don't need light language for this, so I'm not doing it. It's literally just pulling it out to the body. Some of it's almost like psychic surgery too. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. There you go. And let's just put it in. How long is my list? I have one more person, but I'm going to do one in the collective first. And then I'm going to do group healing. And if we get to individual healing, I'll do that too. I do have to sleep at some point. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to pick one person, and then I'm going to do Renee's friend. Um, let's do Lori. Miss Lori. Miss Lori. I'll do Lori, and then I'll do Renee's friend. So yours right away. You've got so much stuff going on in the head. I feel like you were taught to see things with a certain lens. I feel like you are not allowed to see things the way they truly are. This is all galactic programming. I can actually see you as a Palladian. You also have programs in your optic nerve, which makes sense that it's all eye related. Here's your light language. Super clear. So I just let go of everything in your lower back on both sides from about halfway all the way down. So it's just releasing almost like dominoes. Yeah, they're telling me you're good. Let's just bring you into 5D. I feel like you're going to be burping, coughing, all that kind of stuff just to release that. But I feel like you're good. All right, so we're going to just do Renee's friend and then we'll do some collective healing. As I'm as I'm doing this um, for this beautiful person, would you guys like to see more of these paid events? I don't want to do them all the time. I'll do the one in guided, but would would you guys be interested in more of them? I'm... Name is.
so what I pick up from you, there's this, it's definitely a grandmother, mother energy. So this is gonna feel weird. <laughs> I almost don't wanna do it because I know I'm gonna feel like poo. <laughs> I feel like there's digestive stuff going on. I feel like as a child, there's something around like eating, food eating. <laughs> Derek's like, I'm glad I'm off work for these. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. <sighs> Monique would love more healing sessions like this. Amazing. Yeah, there's a few different ones I want to do. Also have a ball in the pit of your stomach. So I'm just removing that. There you go. That just released your ears. Energy always brings me joy. Amazing. That's good that you feel different. Love and kindness. Absolutely. Thank you. You're stunning too. I do also feel like there's something around friends, especially when like you're younger, it's like almost like holding friends, keeping and maintaining friends, not feeling isolated or alone. I feel like you try to hold on too tight. I just keep hearing let go, let go, let go. Sorry. Hey, Christopher, welcome. Nope, I'm, I'm done the paid ones. I'm gonna go into collective stuff very shortly. I'm just finishing up this one. Just gonna, I'm just being guided just to do some. There, I'm just gonna re what's in the lower back. The lumbar stuff you're holding a little bit of energy in there it's ancestral it's not even yours but you take it on like it's yours what is collective everybody on the call and anybody not on the call there you go and let's just bring this through i feel like somebody abandoned you that's what's showing up in your etheric field does someone abandon you I did finish the paid ones, yep. Just finished them up right now. If you weren't here, I still did yours and it'll be in YouTube. And then just put you in 5D. If I did miss you, just reach out. Pretty much everyone who paid, because it's on my computer, it says I'm done. 
and we did free ones. So all this will be on YouTube after. There you go. Whew, take a breath. Ground. I command myself to ground. Let's just pull energy where it doesn't need to be. All right. Yeah, if anyone's interested in learning quantum healing, that's February 26th. The class is filling up, so I'm going to have to put a cap on it soon. But if you want to come in, now's your chance. Level two is in March. So um, I think March date for quantum is like later in the month. All right, so let's come in. We'll do a little bit of group and then we'll do like one offs as well. You feel like you're on fire. Awesome. Ground that out. <laughs> just going to bring in let's bring in source energy I got my new guide here and we're going to bring in some quantum <laughs> I love that <laughs> everyone's got their ailments. If you guys want to post in the comments, now, if you have a specific place you want me to go, I, I'm, it, I'm sure it's mostly collective anyways. You guys all tend to hold on to the same thing. I can literally tell you in my whole body where I'm holding all of your stuff right now, and that's every single one of you. So you guys can either write in the comments or I can just go to those places that I feel it, and you can just allow the healing. So it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do. Have a great day at work. Yeah, I'm in the left shoulder right now. Left shoulder and neck. You guys are funny. You can just write. I'm just going through the body systems. When I catch your comments, I'll say what I'm doing. So right now I'm just in the back of the neck and the shoulders. And it's for collective. So just because you're writing it doesn't mean they're the only person receiving it. I can already feel it in there. I got eyes and blood pressure. I'm just going to go into the right shoulder first. Then we'll go into the heart space. Yeah, if you don't want to accept it, you don't have to. Absolutely. It's just whatever you choose. I want to come back and do codes because that's what I'm being guided to do as well. Collapsing timelines. Okay, I'm coming into the heart space. I'm just... That was massive. going to bring this in a little bit stronger into the heart. Let's bring it right into the heart space and let's clear out that. Ooh, neck is loose. Ooh. Me to come into the lungs. I definitely want to do eye healing as well. Shelly loves the collapsing of timelines. Yeah, me too. My stack is growing. <laughs> I have the beautiful Michelle helping me make some oracle decks for you guys so you guys can do it for yourself too. I have a stack. You want to see how many codes I have? Look. And they're literally everywhere. This is my stack of codes. 
I probably have enough to make two decks already. Okay, so take a deep breath into your lungs right now. Deep, deep breath. Fill up your lungs as far as you can and then take in more if you can. And then release nice and slow. Let it all out and then do it more as much as you can release. And then take a breath in and reset your lungs. Okay, so my guides are showing me that I'm going to go in and do some healing for the eyes. So I'm going to just start in the optic nerve. Oh, that feels cool. It is a lot of energy. So if you find this is too much, you can just say no thank you and disconnect. Or breathe into your gut. That always helps me because I'm in your bodies. <laughs> when you guys go into fight or flight, I feel it. I feel the slightest change in your heart pressure, your heart rate. I feel all of it. Jay, I just heard, don't procrastinate. Okay, I'm going to come down into the eyeball. So this might get a little bit more intense, but they're just, I'm just letting them guide this. I can literally feel your eyeballs vibrating inside. I really am in your eye. <laughs> I'm just in the right side eye muscle. Strengthening that up. Breathe in your gut. So if you need if you need a reminder, just put your hand on your gut. <laughs> it just helps me. <coughs> You guys are hilarious. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna switch over to the left. So just in the back of the eye, the optic nerve. Just allow the energy to come in. Breathe in your gut. I can feel, as soon as you guys go into a little bit of flight or flight, like you can feel it massively in my body. How does this work? It's quantum field. I'm literally sitting in everybody's body right now working on their eye. Yeah, if you're, you can start taking this with me if you want to learn how to do it. You just had an eye exam yesterday. Well, maybe your glasses prescription will change if, if you need glasses. The vibration is very different in this eye than the other one. Just bring it into the into the eyeball itself. <laughs> Derek feels me. Awesome. It feels cool. I know. I can feel it in my own eye. I'm just gonna bring it into the front. Breathe in your gut would help. Thank you. <laughs> it's just that raw meter. Reminder. Okay, so I'm going to come right in the front of the eye, right on the lens. So I'm actually going to drop in a little bit deeper so I can feel you in the back of my brain. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just going to drop in a little bit further um, 
to just bring this source energy in just a little bit stronger just for everybody so i'm i might not move but i'm still here if you're getting a headache just ground honey i command myself to ground anything that i don't need or that's not mine please take back to mother earth you have to remember i'm in every single person at the same time so it's a lot of healing Okay, so I'm just gonna connect in a little bit deeper, go into your go into your heart space or go into your lower gut. Just breathe deep. I'm just gonna bring this energy. It's it's quite massive. So now I'm just coming right into the front lenses at the same time. Again, if it's too much, you can just disconnect. You can breathe, you can ground. Ugh. Breathe deep in your gut. This is just source energy. This is nothing else. There's no quantum. I am going to bring in a little bit of psychic surgery at the same time. If you don't want it, it's okay. My guides will pick those out who are too scared as well. And I will even just tell you what I'm doing just so that you are aware that I'm not doing anything funky doodles. I'm just repairing blood vessels in the eye while the healing is coming in through the eye. You should feel the strength in your left eye around the out, outside, like the muscles and the eyelids getting stronger. And I can feel it in my body, eyeballs. Okay. And just breathe ground. I command myself to ground anything that I don't need or that's not mine. Please take back to Mother Earth. My eyes are just adjusting. Ooh, Kim says, I can see the colors more vivid. That's amazing. That's awesome. So my guides are just saying going to the back. So I'm just gonna come down the spine, nice and slow. Feels like it's just wrapping around the spine. Eyes are water. Yeah, let them water. Cry if you need to cry. <laughs> Ashton, I totally love you. <laughs> She's like an amazing cheering section. Let's go! Let's go! I appreciate all your likes, guys. You being here is really presence now. That's okay. Some it just depends on how long it takes you to shift energy, right? It depends on how many layers are there. Drink some water if you need water too. Hydrate yourself. I can. My face is heating. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Holy crap! You're offering your time, which is awesome and valuable. Thank you so much. John says, my eye, what the fuck? I think that says, what does that say? What the fuck? Yeah. So now I'm just coming down the spinal column on both sides. Um, 
I can literally feel my hands on my own body. This is really cool. Um, <laughs> I love you guys too. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, let yourself cry. Let, have the release. This is literally just source energy going inside of you. Just bringing in that love and healing. My hands are like, they get stuck. Like it's like I can't move them. So this is how I know that it's connected in because it's just like trans healing. And I see it mending stuff in your bodies. Ooh, someone can see much clearer. The giggles. I know because I feel it. <laughs> um, I do one session. It's called Unlock Your Blocks to Freedom. And I can, I can see all the past stuff of what you block out. And as soon as you're clear, I giggle like crazy. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's contagious. Giggling is awesome. Thank you guys so much for all your likes. You guys are amazing. I feel the ribs on the left. Awesome hands. Yep. I'm just going down the spine on both sides. I feel your sheath healing, if that makes sense to anybody who understands what that means. That's the outer casing in the spine. That's okay. Um, sometimes it takes people longer to shift energy. For some people, it's not instantaneous. I have clients who will come see me and they're like, okay, thanks. And then they'll walk away and then like three days later, they're like, holy shit, here's what happened. Uh, and I'll, I'll even, I told you guys the story yesterday. I did a healing on a, a young lady. She had blood stuff issues going on. Her blood work came back an absolute mess. And I did one healing on her. Her blood work is perfect. I haven't seen her since. She doesn't do her own healing, right? I've had people with thyroid issues on medication, one healing session, done. I also have people who have had like four and five sessions for their thyroid. And they're still battling that internal battle of self right so it's not that the healing doesn't work it does work be open to whatever it's going to do for you okay so i'm going to come into the let's do the hips Oh, my mother experienced her today and it sounded pretty incredible. Amazing. Yep, it's free will. Your belief doesn't even matter. You can stand on the way all you want. Whatever healing you need to receive from source, you will. Please come back this weekend. I missed the list. <laughs> I'll come back this weekend. I will. Just allowing the back, the sciatic. I'm actually going to just break and reset everybody's hips. And if, if you don't need them, it won't break yours. But I'm just going to break everybody's hips and reset them. You guys hold a lot of tension and stuff in your hips. So we're gonna do this as a collective. Everyone's gonna take a deep breath at the same time. No, I'm just kidding. Just, you're gonna take a big breath into the lower gut. I'll, I'll just tell you when. And then you're gonna release nice and slow. Ready? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you're adorable. Okay, ready? Deep breath in. And oh. If you need to get up and walk, you can. I broke everybody at the same time. Um, when I reopen the list, it's I'm actually going to bring healing into right here. They're showing me like lots of tension in the jaw. 
So anyone who's got jaw and lots of tension built up in the TMA joint, or TMJ, sorry, we're gonna bring healing into that just to relax that as well. So you might feel a pulsation of energy going from side to side because I'm gonna bring, bring in some polarity healing as well. Yeah, like my hands are, they're like stuck like this. Just relax your jaw, release your tongue. There you go. And then after this, we'll do inflammation. Um, um, they're just asking, like, um, I have a couple of guides helping to do the polarity stuff. If your head wants to move like this, um, if you're okay to just let it move, um, they're kind of like shifting your neck muscles at the same time because there's so much energy moving through. So just allow yourself to breathe and let go and just let them do the polarity. There, it's releasing in your gut now because you guys let go. Just let your jaw relax. even further just let it drop let go of all the tension in there yep just let it go let it go let it go I'm just gonna let just say I command myself to ground anything I don't need or that's not mine please take back to mother earth there you go Oh, thank you guys so much. Ugh. I'm so humbled. I really am. You guys are just so beautiful. Ashton, can I tell you something though? I don't know what that means. <laughs> what What do all these likes mean? Maybe you guys can, like to me, it's just, I just show up because they asked me to. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys for all your likes. A lot of tapping. <laughs> awesome. I appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are just amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna do, um, I have a, a special thing that I do for inflammation. So I'm just going to bring that forward for you guys. So I'm just literally going to run my hands and you'll, I actually did a different one today and I actually, I felt like I lost weight. <laughs> so I'm going to bring all of that in for you guys. So I'm just going to run my hands. I got to go into this, um, like deeper trance healing, which is just my guides and them coming forward. So we'll just release in the inflammation in the body. Just to allow your body just to, I feel like I need to work. So allow that inflammation to release. <clears throat> there you go. Just breathe in your guts. What if I'm wrong about what?
<laughs> you guys are awesome. I can definitely feel the shift in energy getting a little bit cooler. Neck feels so much better. Definitely colder. Yep. So I'm in the hips. I'm just going to run this energy down the legs and release the inflammation in there. Making you relaxed and sleepy. There you go. are adorable. <laughs> Just coming down the other leg. It amazes me how fast it heals. My jaw stopped hurting. It's just a release. You can literally feel your legs getting smaller. <laughs> we think you're amazing if you don't know. I think you guys are amazing. I'm learning. I really am, Derek. I am. I literally, like when I said I had to get off and do like codes and stuff with my friend, like we spent two and a half hours like activating codes and stuff. And then I did a session with my girlfriend. All I did was cry. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And it was just about appearance, like showing up and, you know, not disappointing. And yeah, we all go through our stuff. So I figured out what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> so yeah. Does my type of Reiki healing make you lose weight? I don't know if you're attaching your healing into your metabolism that's not what it's about your metabolism is really not responsible for your weight and I'll, I'll share this with you just because it's I won't give names of my clients but I have a client she's probably 350 400 pounds and her family like criticizes everything she eats. And I said to her, we were doing some deep, deep healing and she had lost a little bit of weight with that. And I said, send me over how much, what you eat in a day. The girl eats like a freaking bird. I'm like, there's no way that what you're eating is causing you to be that weight. Cause she doesn't want to be that weight. I think she's beautiful. So I'm like, let's address the fact that you don't love yourself because you've never had to, because everyone else told you you were fat. Guess when she started to lose the weight? When she started to love herself. I actually have a program. Um, it's called Soul Matrix. And the core matrix program is called Health, Wellness, Body Image, Weight Loss. I have people come into that program and start losing weight after the second module. Just saying. So it is, it is about how you show up and love yourself is how weight is. And, yep. I used to be 180 pounds. After I had my daughter, my children are 10 years apart, 180 pounds, could not lose the weight. Joined the gym, went, yep, nope, thanks, it's not for me. Went home, hit my awakening, and went, I need to get in shape. I cut, I still ate chocolate and sugar and chips. I ate a half bag of chips almost every day. I cut myself from a size 12 to a size 3 in less than a year. And I went to the gym every day, six days a week, religiously, and put myself into an eight pack and ready to step into bodybuilding competitions. I backed out because of what they asked me to wear. Uh, my body was not something to show off that way. And um, something around my tattoos as well. So I have quite a few. So it was kind of like I had to show off what my representation of my tattoos were. And my guys are like, not the right thing for you. So I stepped out and I'm very comfortable in my body. You all know I manifested my boob job. So, yeah.
Yep. Yep, it's amazing. How you guys feeling? I feel good. Hi, welcome. What are soul codes? Mm. There's a couple of different things that they're showing me. It's kind of like a remembering. It opens up your remembering. Feel good, feel good, thank you. Yeah. Feel lighter and freer. I love it. Much looser, thank you. My hips, legs are good. Yeah, make sure you guys walk, test it out. I'm actually working with a lady, um, her hips were all seized and she's able to open her legs right now. So yeah, you needed that. I'm grateful that you guys could join me today and I'll come back on the weekend um, for sure. We'll do some, uh, some more of this. Um, yeah, I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate you guys. What do I need to be tapping into next? I feel like self. I got there's something around yourself. Yeah, so tap into yourself. I'll answer a, a couple of questions and then I'm going to head off. I need to go ground myself and get myself ready for bed. Uh, you have to come back this weekend. I will. I will. <laughs> I will come back. I promise I'll come back. Yeah. Um, I should be able, starting next week, I should be able to come back every day. I just have two big launches coming up. Um, and I'll, I'm getting ready to post those dates and stuff. But definitely, I'll come back and do more of what we did today. Um, if you want to do the paid stuff. And then I'll kind of connect it with my guides and see what they want me to do next. I don't want to do all of my stuff paid just because I do offer private services as well. Um, but this one, my guide said I needed to do it. So I just listen. And uh, yeah, it's about giving back as well. So I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for supporting me. Like this whole thing is just um, amazing. And I'm truly honored and blessed to have you guys all here. I, I really, truly appreciate all of you. When will you post to YouTube? I'm going to do it right after I get off this. I have the first video downloaded and then I'll just download this one as well. Um, so yeah, if you paid um, and I didn't call your name, just please message me privately and I will make sure that I do yours as well. Yeah, you guys are freaking amazing. I appreciate it. That's a lot of tapping. Make sure you rest your finger. <laughs> Thank you for all of your gifts. Honestly and truly though, just you guys being here to allow me to help you, to support me, and, and to help you feel better, I think is the blessing. Um, I'm getting to know every single one of you on a different way. So I truly just love all of you guys. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Um, I love you guys. And I'm going to leave you with that. So have a great rest of your evening. Okay. I will talk to you guys very soon. Mm.